In this video, we'll talk about polymorphism. Now in polymorphism, you have two types. One is method overloading and method overriding. So in this part, we'll talk about overloading. Now what exactly overloading is, let's say you have a class called as A. And in this class, you have method called as public void show. Okay, so we have this method called as show. Now in, in this show, let me print, let's say S out and say, hello. We'll just print hello. That's it. So I'm in this show method, I'm printing hello. Now if I say, if I want to call that show, I need to say a obj equal to a new a. So we need to create the object of a and then we can say it is obj.show, right? So the only way to call the method which, which is show, which is a non-static method, you, requ you require an instance or you require an object, right? So I'm, I'm having an object called as obj and then I'm saying obj.show, right? Okay, can I have one more method here called as public void public void show which has the same name and same number of parameters of course not it's because when you say show it will get confused do i need to call this show or do i need to call this show this there, there should be some difference right so what we can change we can change the number of parameters if i say int i so if i call a show now it will check for the show method which doesn't have any any parameter so it will search for this that means the, it will search for the signature and the signature which is matching is this one right so it will not call this the show with the parameter so we'll print here it is it is hello and plus i so it will print the value of i also so if I run this code, obviously the output you'll be expecting is hello, right? So on the, and the output is hello. But let's say if I pass a value, if I pass a value 5, it will jump to this constructor or this method which is show and it will accept the value 5 and then it will print hello 5. So let's see the output and the output says hello 5. Simple. So the, you can have two different methods or two methods with the same name but different number of parameters. Now, is it number or types? Let's say you have public void show. So is it the number of parameters? So let's say if we have double D. Now both these methods have the same number of parameters. Is it legal? Yes, you, they can have same number of parameters, but a type should be different. One is int, second is double. If I write it as int, then it will give me an error. Since it is double, it will work. So it's not the number of parameters, it's the type it's the first number and then the type. If number is same, it will check for the type. So if you are saying here we are sending 5, so it will check, okay, this is 5, it will accept the value. Clear? But if I say it will send 5.5, so obviously it will call this double method. So this concept is called as method overloading, which is also called as, in fact, we have lots of name for this. This is method overloading. Overloading. We have one. We have some name like this is uh, early binding because your compiler will know before running only before the execution. So which method to call? It is also called as static binding because every time it will bind the same thing. And we have one more name. Is it one more name? Overloading, early binding, static binding, and it is also called as compile time polymorphism. So we have different name, but this means the same thing. Clear? So same name and different number of parameters and different type of parameters. That is called as method overloading, which is a part of polymorphism. In the next part, we'll talk about method overriding. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.